Coronavirus has shown me that the so-called developed nations have invested more in the destruction of the planet and humans than they have invested in nourishing and preserving for tomorrow. Greed is not good in any form, and this is coming from Shion Kuti. He went on to say it is obvious that the world is unprepared to defend itself from the real enemy, and if you are African, take care, but also know that is close by. The people mm. of Amu or Dofi were not killed by coronavirus. Mm. Yeah, that's what he said. You know, a lot of people have come out in this in this period to be, and they become activists and, and motivational speakers, and I'm just like yawning on my table, like, okay, but this guy, his words just hit me hard, and it's so true what he's saying, and so important. For someone, for, I, there's a lot of activists uh, movements going on. One of the things that I'm very passionate mm -hmm. about, apart from feminism, is the environment and the climate. Mm -hmm. And we've been screaming this thing on top of our lungs. So There's one of the reasons why I said I wanted to cut down meat and go on vegan journey and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And you see now that the one thing, <laughs> the one <laughs> thing that um, is happening with the coronavirus is the Let's say the cleansing of yes, the earth. The there's cleansing. there's new fishes that are swimming in canals that have never even flown in the last God how many knows years. Mm -hmm. And you can start to wonder because the foreigners and the developed countries are so quick to pointing to our, to us that Africa is the weakest link and we're the ones doing this and we're not this. And that. but they're so greedy and that have a very big fact um, um, part to, part to play in polluting our environment. Yeah. But. It's still coronavirus and human beings are still dying. So it's it's unfair to not have a, a strong balance to admit that yes, yes, they pollute the earth, but it's still we still have a pandemic at hand yeah. and it's a serious issue. I think um what Shinkuti has said is spot on. Because the truth is I went to go and find out how much the United States because everybody knows that the United States is like the powerhouse when mm. it comes to war, yeah. when it comes to all of that. So I went to find out how much their military budget is and apparently they have over 700 and something billion dollars assigned to just fighting wars and doing all of that. And I remember that there was this particular senator, Senator Bernie Sanders, and he was, he, he was saying that we spent so much money on war. We spent so much money on trying to maintain this image that, you know, the United States of America is this huge powerhouse and everything, that we don't focus on the important things. It's like now that coronavirus is here, the veil is falling mm. away from people's eyes and they are realizing that what is most important now is health care, the mm. environment, climate. All these mm. things are important. The wars, nobody cares about Who's that Who's fighting anymore? anymore? Who's fighting any war? I haven't anymore. heard any news on Israel and the, Palestine and the borders. When we started yeah. this year, chilling. when we heard this year, there were rumors mm. of World War III. Yeah. When coronavirus came, what happened? Everybody abandoned all talks of war because right. now we realize that this is a virus that doesn't care. It doesn't, you, whether you're a senator, whether yeah. you're a poor person, whether you're a rich person. It it's hard for me not to believe care. that the earth is trying to tell us to calm down, like so, it's enough. And if we're not going to do it, they're going to do it for us. Exactly. Um, we've lost a lot of lives in just one year. Yeah, and we're not even in the half, we're not halfway through. So um, it's something that we need to obviously think about. Mm -hmm. Nigerians don't think about, about environments either. And that's the only thing that I can pick up from his... Um, text his uh, write up that didn't yeah. really accumulate that apart from the fact that foreigners and developed countries are the master leaders let's not even go into China and whatever we still have a part to play our, well, yeah. if you're eating fish in Nigeria you're pretty much eating plastic because that's the what that's what swims with our fishes in this country okay yeah. um, so <laughs> um, we all are affected and it's something yeah. that we need to talk about yeah. yeah. Okay, so I always say is that when Shion Kuti is speaking, I'm not on his yeah. level of um, whatever he takes to understand. So I'm not going to pretend mm -hmm. I understand. But from what you have said, I definitely do agree that um, this is telling us to calm down and yeah. chill. Because yeah. I don't think there was going to be anything that would make us just say, you know what, self isolate yeah. yeah. and stay in your homes your for house. a while. Like you go to the streets that mm -hmm. is usually crowded mm -hmm. and it's free and all. So I yeah. think this is a good place for people to also sit back and think about yes. their actions and inactions. And when we finally beat this, because I know and hope oh, that we will, hope. let's be better yes. and I hope it do the right things. Yeah. 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 yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yes, because okay. I hope we can't. I hope it should be, we'll be very seriously. sad if we reset. If we go back to, to yeah. how things were before, mm. it would be very, very sad, to be honest.